My name is Alex Hearn. I work for the Universidad San Francisco de Quito um, here in Ecuador. We have a campus on Galapagos and my research is basically focused on trying to understand how uh, Galapagos and other oceanic islands are important for sharks and other marine migratory species. For the last 10 years, we've been tagging and tracking sharks as they move around the islands. So in particular, hammerheads, whale sharks, silky sharks. These sharks are really common in Galapagos. And really, Galapagos is one of the last remaining sites in the world where you see large numbers of sharks like this. So we want to understand what is it that attracts these sharks to the islands. Hammerhead sharks are really the most iconic shark of Galapagos, it's the, it's the symbol of the, of the Galapagos Marine Reserve and it's also the reason so many people come to Galapagos. It's one of the last places in the world that you can immerse yourself in schools of hundreds and thousands of sharks. It really is a fabulous experience. And the problem is that when sharks do school like this, it makes them particularly vulnerable to fishing. Now, now hammerhead sharks are ram ventilators. That means that when they're swim, they need to be moving to be able to breathe. So if they're stuck on a line, eventually they're gonna get stressed out, they're gonna suffocate and die. So even for issues like bycatch, when we would hope that sharks would be released, there's still gonna be a mortality involved. In the last 20 years, there's been a huge demand for shark fin. And so shark populations have declined all over the world. And in particular, the hammerhead is vulnerable to this. Over the last 20 years, there's been growing concern about the sustainability of shark populations. Um, it's believed that only around 10% of shark fisheries are actually sustainable. A quarter of the shark species that we know of are declining. Well, sharks are different from bony fish in several life characteristics. They tend to have very slow growth rates. They mature late in life, they're long lived, and they have very few offspring. All these characteristics makes makes them rather vulnerable to any mortality beyond natural mortality. So if we start fishing them heavily, they just don't have the capacity to replenish their numbers. Now, added to this, there's also been a growing demand for shark fin, uh, for shark fin soup, which is a luxury item in, in, in the Chinese market. So shark finning plus uh, th these unfavorable life characteristics really a recipe for disaster. One of the things that many countries are trying to do to stave off these declines is to create marine reserves. But sharks wander over huge areas of ocean. So how much are these marine reserves really protecting the sharks? And that's where our research comes in, in Galapagos, but also as part of a wider regional network. So we have colleagues working in Malpelo and Cocos Islands, which are a few hundred kilometers away. We tag our sharks, we track them, and we try to understand whether they move between these sites. And can we then establish migratory pathways and protect those areas too once they leave the marine reserve.